When you think of functions, think of them as a machine. Like when you put kernels in a popcorn popper, its function is to make popcorn come out. And in math, when you put the value of x into the machine, the processed function of x will come out. The function of x is the value of y. On the ACT, you might encounter two types of simple functions, the equation and the graph. Let's look at equations first. A test question about functions might ask for the value of a function at a given value of x. In this example, we have f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 7. What is the value of f of 2? Remember that the value in the parentheses is the value of x. In this case, we know that x is 2. If we put 2 into the equation in place of x, we get f of 2 equals 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 7. Solving this equation, we find that the answer is 7. So in this function, f of 2 equals 7. The other type of function you might encounter in the ACT is the graph. In this case, you might be given a specific value for x and asked to find the value for the y-coordinate. Here's an example. Consider the rational function f of x equals x squared minus 8 over x minus 5, whose graph is shown in the standard xy-coordinate plane below. What is the value of f of x at x equals 3? a is negative 8, b is negative 1 half, c is 4 over 3, d is 7 over 4, and e is 8 over 5. Let's underline our facts, circle our keywords, and label our answer choices value of f of x at x equals 3. The question is asking, what is the value of f of x when x equals 3? That's the same as asking, what is the value of y when x is 3? We can look at the problem in two ways. We could use the approach we just learned and solve the equation for the value of y when x is 3, but let's start by reading the graph of the function. We'll locate the coordinate point on the function when x is 3 and determine the value of y at that point. If we look at the graph, we can find the point where x equals 3 and then draw a horizontal line to the y-axis to find the value of y when x equals 3. In this case, it's difficult to figure out the actual value of y from the graph alone. It looks like the answer is somewhere between y equals 0 and y equals negative 1. Let's check out the answer choices and see what works. Negative 8 is too small, so we can eliminate choice A. Negative 1 half is within the range that we identified, so let's leave that for now. Answer choices C, D, and E are all greater than 1, so they seem to be too big. We know our answer has to be less than 0, and those are all positive. So let's cross them off and circle our answer B. So we've seen that we can solve function questions by looking at the graph and by looking at the equation and even by using our calculator. An important thing to remember is that every point on the graph of a function must work in the equation of the function. When it comes to simple function questions, it's important to remember that f of x means y. The value in the parentheses is the x value and f of x is the y value. Also remember that every point on a function must work in the equation of that function. These might be called simple functions, but you just did a lot of work. You deserve to put some kernels in the popcorn popper and make yourself a snack while you work out some of the hundreds of problems available to you throughout this course.